da 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 da. <laughs> Guess you got a session. <laughs> In my onesie. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hillary Raven Porter and Derek Penn at Cosmic Messenger. Woot woot. Um. So yeah. So I had a session. So behind the scenes, huh? Uh, we are on the throat. So week five of the Antakrana Tamiana Chakra Scrub. Mm -hmm. Say that five times fast. Uh, which is soma, which is throat. I think I said throat, did I? Or say say fifth plane? I don't know. Fifth plane, throat, all there. Same right? zones. Yeah. Same, same. Um, so yeah, so I just came off the table. Uh, but Derek, why don't you report how you feel after yesterday's session, now that it's been approximately 24 hours? I feel magical, whole, and complete. I feel <laughs> really good, actually. It was, um, I got quite activated last night, so it took... I felt like I had a lot of physical energy, so that carried me through. However, it, it took a little while to fall asleep, and mm. also in the morning I woke up really quick. So that was awesome too, but I kind of wanted to sleep a little bit more, but it just woke me up. So that was kind of interesting. So there was a lot of um, activity in the light code realm, let's say. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Definitely last night falling asleep was um, a challenge for me as well. Yesterday was a super activating day, and like I said... Yesterday and the day before, it was just like downloads coming through, and often that'll heighten everything, which makes it challenging to sleep. And then, because they just want to keep, like, literally, as I was laying in bed trying to fall asleep, I was like, okay, guys, if you don't let me sleep, I can't do the work. And we have to do that sometimes. Sometimes we have to tell them. We have to set in our own boundaries just because they're in a not physical, like, that's hard for me to say not physical because they are physical, but not in our 3D realm. In the way that we are, um, they're like, oh, you can totally do this and just keep going because they don't have the same parameters to survive as we do. Mm -hmm. um, and we have to set in our boundaries. I learned this quite a long time ago when uh, I had my mentor there and and I wasn't sleeping as things were amplifying. And he was like, just tell them no. And they don't always listen, but you can put in boundaries and be like, okay, you can have me Thursday nights or whatever, right? Um yeah, so I had to put in some words mm -hmm. with them last night. Um, yeah, so I actually don't have that much to report right now about my experience on the table, other than I came into this session absolutely exhausted, because like I said, I haven't been sleeping very well the last uh, couple of days, and things have been busy during the daytime. Um, full, abundant, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I laid down on the table, but what I did notice is so... As I'm processing, plus we have Wavy on, which is detoxing you as well. So Wavy's the five wave infrared mat. And uh, so at about Soma, no, Komatagia, which is the solar plexus going up, I was I had to get up and use the washroom, which is about <laughs> the, the usual space that I have to get up and use the washroom. And then I and then I came back and I was laying on my side. And I was like, oh, apparently I'm gonna stay awake this whole time. Like, I just can't sleep today and all this stuff. And my, I have some physical stuff happening. So I was just like, huh, well, I'm just going to feel that, I guess. And da, 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 and amazing cello music on. Um, cello yoga. I highly recommend them on Spotify. And they have um, chakra aligned mm -hmm. things, amazing um, tracks. And then all of a sudden, and I was like kind of relaxed. And I, and I was really in tune. So that's the one thing that I did, even though I was gone and I left, the cello music it was like I'd gone in and was on the cello music but still going oh, I guess I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sleep or I'm not gonna travel and then all of a sudden I was like I need to use the washroom again expecting dare to literally only be up above me up above komotaiya by a couple of symbols and still having to come down I look over and we're at sacral so we've gone all the way up so it's like there's 14 in total right yeah Stops. you go up seven and down seven mm -hmm. so i'd at three up i was like oh no i'm done like i'm not gonna fall asleep i'm not gonna travel i'm not gonna whatever i'm gonna be awake the whole time and fidgeting and monkey mind and then all of a sudden we're all the way up and down and we only have like two left that's kind of what happened to me <laughs> yesterday too but you went beyond the 22 galaxy fractal matrix yeah so yesterday, you, you can watch our other video um, from yesterday, and we talked about how the, the council um, had said, and the Palladians had said, no, like, 
you guys, referring to me and Derek, they're like, you guys are ready for, like, you've been playing in this dimension here. You can go into this dimension, that dimension, and that dimension. But now it's time for you to make, like, a big cult- cultural jump. They're showing as if we went from, like, here to, like, Mongolia. You know, like, something that's so culturally out of what we're used to for mm-hmm. dimension hopping. A uh, guy, and they're like, just you wait, you're tomorrow. And I'm like, ah, psh! but then also like, mm, nervous. And apparently that's what happened. Yeah. And goat medicine came yeah. through. Goat. Tell them, you tell them about the stuff that came through on your end. So Derek was receiving the information from the Palladians mm-hmm. during the session. It was a was combo with, with this session too, is like, because, you know, we're channelers of all this divine information coming through because we swim in it all the time. So there was definitely some stuff directed for you. Mm-hmm. And then there was a bunch of stuff that yeah. also just came through for the collective or what the symbols do. Yeah. So there was like a different portions. It was going off about um, the, there's 12 stages of the light body and it was what stage eight was encompassing. There was um, different levels of activations with DNA and cellular network. Um, there was the, one of them was the consciousness of water and where water resides within the symbols. Right. Which actually makes sense too. So the symbol is septa. I'm just gonna draw it in the air because mm-hmm. that's what it is. Yeah, so totally. septa is like a sine wave that goes ac- and then is crossed out and then has three little dashes. Well, what does that look like? But water. And the reason Derek's talking about what the symbols do, it's little background is the dutukuza. So first wave downloads, it was uh when Tamiana was rebrought, the first wave downloads were to bring the medicine back here, but there wasn't much um background or depth of this is the symbol for this. It's like you intuitively pick the symbols and all this, which is great. Intuitive picking the symbols is awesome. Um but to do so and then when I was taught Tamiana, they're like, no, you're here for the second wave downloads. So what do certain symbols mean? What are other ways to use Tamiana? Downloads of new symbols. Mm-hmm. Uh, hence Atakarana Gaia code and the Palladian star code um, systems. And so that's what Derek's referring to when they say, what do these symbols do? Because uh, I'm currently writing a book. It's going to be a while, so don't get too excited. But because um, <laughs> there's so much. And part of that is, what do these actually do? And to go, and that's how we found out more information about the chakras and how... Um, the drop in the bucket that we actually know about chakras. And mm-hmm. so as this wisdom is coming out more and more as being told about the chakras, um, yeah, the information they teach is, is phenomenal. So yeah, Exactly. And they also, it. like, you'll get in, I got information tonight just about what parts of the spinal column different symbols were associated with. Mm-hmm. But we were doing a focused chakra scrub on to Karana, right? Mm -hmm. So whichever one we're on that week to remind you, then we had like Soma come with us through all of the planes. So when you're joining three symbols at once, additional information comes out. So the Mm -hmm. etheric plane, which is um, the first layer of the aura, a couple inches off the body. That's Pekka. Yeah. Hmm? Pekka. Pekka. That was the first level of that to Karana. Mm -hmm. So it was Pekka level. Um, I can't remember mm-hmm. which one it is, but by having them all together, they access more. So we know that the chakras are associated with the spine and the nerve endings that come mm-hmm. out, but the etheric layer goes through all of the symbols. But now it's starting to show which ones are associated with different parts of the spinal column, right? The lower, the mid, the high on the etheric level mm-hmm. through the aura, right? And how they go in and touch those very qualities because it's all interwoven, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> taking me on to Karana, the seven symbols above the head, and then bringing Soma with them, particularly in the first five planes, yeah. you get a really, uh, you touch base with the etheric, um, the etheric spinal column, I'll call it. Yeah. It's awesome stuff. It's the, the energetic form as it's then coming in to manifest. To power up the chakra. It's wild stuff. 
So I do those because I went to it, but most go by that. Two hours and I did two hours so we have the spawner column. They do this guy, and then we talk about the Rainbow Bridge up here, which is the uh, the well, there's the Warga to do the Capitito where that goes uh, into the Antakarana. Do do she got me double, and so it's a uh, do I got an extension of your spinal column straight up and straight down. It do to pass a good diet. You also have one that goes straight down your but do do she got um 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 sacral. I did do your sit bones. I teach not sit bones. I teach you your sacral. Um, so your tailbone it comes right up there and goes down. Which I'm sure we're going to hear more about when we do the Gaia code. And I was gonna say the Gaia code anti canal scrub. Oh my goodness, is that another one? Oh, it's another one. No, I do the Galactivator first. The Galactivator. Check out the other video to hear about the Galactivator. That one came out. But yeah, now they're like, oh yeah, you actually have an anti canal Gaia code scrub too. But you do should go. Oh, no, it's die. Mm. Mm. We're gonna be testing stuff. Yeah, and there and was also stuff. there was also a Lemurian kind of sacred ceremony going on. Um, there was more than enough time in the quantum realms, but during the session, just got a taste of what it would kind of like look like and what that would entail, and that was going around the table as well too. It's just like ancient futuristic ceremonies. I'm not sure if it was from parallel Earth version mm. in a future timeline or if it was like. Lemuria as we know it here down on the earth plane in terms of when it occurred because it definitely felt futuristic mm. considering it was ancient well, so I'm still possible. piecing all this together to kind of sort that one that's out that's the thing is it do do the the ancient ancient what we call ancient because it came before even though it doesn't really come mm -hmm. before it's yeah anyways uh to go to buy that that stuff is always the Buddha foundational of everything as we go into the future. And then we find out that we add all these things that are like, this is better, this is helpful, this is like the better way to do it to go to Kaba than what ends up happening. You can see this a lot in, in multiple spheres right now is people are going back to the old ways, right? They're going back mm -hmm. to the origin state because there is so much power in the origin state. Of anything, and adding things, but as we add more technology and the, because this came up too, the like busy, the doing, mm -hmm. uh, it actually can diminish a because it's so much being spread outwards, right? So I think that's no, that's just... no, exactly. <laughs> no, that helps out a lot too. I call those like um, working with universal law and the original instructions. Yeah. And also, I just got some messages coming through, too, with this Lemurian stuff. So we, there was a whole bunch of star uh, star beings off-planet that came, incarnated on Earth, and some of them also just brought their physical bodies and started merging with the human populace, right? Mm -hmm. Changing our DNA, working with different reasons for it. Plus, some of them just wanted to live on Earth, right? And they were capable of doing it in their body. But a lot of these beings also came from different time portals, to then get here are off a different dimensional plane. Mm -hmm. So when we speak of Lemuria, it has ancient qualities, mm -hmm. but it simultaneously was maybe um, a, a, future, a future lifetime mm -hmm. from something that came before it and then landed in on the Earth time grid, right? Yeah. Because Earth is one viewpoint of yeah. calculating time out of what looks like to be infinite amounts of planets and multi-dimensions. Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean we've like anthropomorphized? I'm totally not pronouncing that right. Time, yes, you know, anthropomorphized in anthropomorphized sure. <laughs> is when you like put human qualities on animals, uh, and so it's like, no, everything is like earth based because it's because we're at the center of everything, right? Mm -hmm. No, exactly, it's an intermix, so yeah, yeah, it's cool. So that was today, just a taste of what happened, just a little, just a little bit. Um, okay. Thanks for joining us again. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have Otutubo, the third eye, and the crown left. Two more. Two more left in this one. And then we have two other ones too, and some test runs that we're super excited. Mm. Um, let us know too we'd love to know what you're thinking about these videos or any questions that come up hey, do you like these videos? should we keep doing these videos? Um, yeah, let us know down below if you would like us to keep doing... I mean, we're going to finish off the Antikana, but when we're done, when we do the next beta round, 
Should we continue to share? I kind of like doing them. I like but... doing it. I want to share anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll see what happens, but I'd like to know what you think about us I agree. doing this. And if it's, uh, it, yeah, if it, even if it's just entertaining to watch what it's like post-session. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so much love and stardust. Make sure to follow and share. Spread the word. Okay. <laughs>